Hello and welcome to another remote ID video. No, no, it's gonna be fun, don't leave. Don't leave. <laughs> the name of the game with remote ID modules is size. It matters. This is the Blue Mark Beacon. That is a weird shape. Why is it shaped like that? I don't know. This appears to be 3D printed. Yes, it does appear to be 3D printed. Oh. Want to see my unit? Of course. Boom. There yeah. it is. Yeah. That's the Drone Tag Mini. I thought you had the beacon. I do have the beacon. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's tiny. Here's what it weighs. That is so lightweight. Here's what the Blue Mark weighs. Hmm. Drone Tag did not send this to me. I bought this and you bought the Blue Mark. I bought right. the Blue Mark. All right. How much was it? We'll put it on screen. How much was mine? Oh. Oh my. You get what you pay for. Right, Keith? Yep. The best part is how easy it is to set up. I didn't have it that easy. What? You mean it didn't just take you about 30 seconds on your phone app? No, there's no app. Why no app? Everybody has an app. As a matter of fact, in order to register your Blue Mark Beacon, you have to sign on to their IP address through your IP address. There's no internet or website available at this time. Seriously? Seriously. <laughs> what the f All I had to do is turn on my beacon, bring up the app. Hi, hey, I'm Beacon. Hi, I'm App. Hello, nice to meet you. Mwah. Now that they've made sweet, sweet digital love, boom, it just brought it right up. That's it. That is it. What'd you have to do? I had to first make sure Bluetooth was active. Mm -hmm. And then I have to go into my settings. Right. I then have to disable my Wi-Fi. Oh dear. Turn your beacon on. Right. Like so. Uh-huh. Then you push the red little tab over here on oh, the side. Oh, there's a tab. You gotta, okay. Yeah. It just doesn't. And what it on. does is now it's in its setup mode. <laughs> and it will appear here in your Wi-Fi selections. No, you have to select it in the phone first. And then yeah. you are able to connect to an RP, IP address uh -huh. of 1.9, blah, blah, whatever, uh -huh. whatnot. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, and yeah. then you can finally set up everything on this micro tiny page where you can't read Boring. nothing. Nobody likes RID. Nobody is going to like remote ID. The whole idea of it sucks. But I guess we're going to have to start doing it pretty soon. September 16th. What happens if you don't? What happens if you just say, I don't want to do it? Yeah, not much. OK. <laughs> Video over. The fact is, is the Blue Mark Beacon is designed for one aircraft. Yeah, it's got these little screw me in holes. They're kind of permanent. Whereas drone tags design in their beacons to be multiple aircraft ready. What we're doing today is we're going to test each one of these modules. We're going to see how accurate the tracking is with their respective apps. And then there's, and I hate to keep calling it this, the Karen app. What is the drone tags app called? It's the Karen the app. Public, I mean, it is, right? But <laughs> we don't want to call it that. But it is. Can the companion Karen app from each product work on the others? Yes. So I can use the blue mark to find the drone tag beacon. Yes. And vice versa. Yes. Oh, good. All these apps should be receiving RID signals no matter where that signal is being broadcast from. So we should be seeing DJI aircraft pretty soon showing up in these apps too as well as Autel, Skydio, and Unit. So we'll test that today with an RID compliant Avata. But first, we're going to slap a dap of the drone tag on the Phantom 4. Keith's going to fly it somewhere around here, and then I'm going to use the, what is it called again? Not the Karen app. Drone scanner. Whatever it is. I'm going to see if I can find the location of this in the drone patrol car. What is that? Is that a drone? I got this handy dandy little app. I'm going to find that drone. That's what I'm going to do. Where are you, drone? All right, so that's me, and that's the drone. I'll just zoomy zoom in here, see if I can't. Okay, I'm getting closer. How high are you? All right, 221 meters from me. Ah, there you are. You should be right around here. Some ah. All right, I see you. I see you, drone. Get out of here. This is a public park. So that dot is me, right? Yes, and that dot is the drone. Let's see if I can find out where the drone operator is. Uh, operator ID, unknown. Distance from me, unknown. Location, unknown. Well, that's good. I guess I'll just follow that line there back to where the pilot is. 
and I can go have a word with him. Sir, were you flying a drone? No. I didn't think so. Now, the blue mark beacon. Hmm, my Karen sense is tingling. Something tells me there's a drone near me. I'll just pick up my handy dandy. Not the Karen app, for sure. Definitely not Karen app, but it's a Karen app. Let's see here. Oh, yes. There's a drone. <laughs> I see exactly where you are, drone. Even though I can't see it with my naked Karen eyes. So that's me. The yellow one is the operator which the other app didn't show. And I'm pretty close to, there you are, ah, there you are. I see you, I got you. Height, 17.5, okay, there you are. Yes, there you are, you little bugger. I got you now, I got you now. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going, you chicken? Where are you going, come back here. Oh, this app actually shows where the operator is. Hmm, the other one didn't, the drone tag didn't. Why were we able to see the operator on the app with this, but not this? One of the things is, is they're still working on the apps and getting all of this to tie in and work together. For example, on Apple phones, mm -hmm. I guess you're not gonna get half the information that we're getting on an Android device right oh. now. As we get closer to September 16th though, we'll probably see a lot more of this okay. mesh. So they'll be completed. Should Hopefully. Be. Hopefully. That okay. Made. Now the question I really want to know is, will the RID built into DJI products like the Avada be seen and available on the, it's not the Karen app, it's- Drone what, scanner. That's Drone right. Scanner. All right, so if I unplug the remote ID, then of course you get that remote ID error right there. So I'll plug it back in. Now, are you able to see me on the, the app? No, I'm not picking you up. Uh, maybe I have to, Take off. I'll go ahead and take you off. You probably have to take off because it probably won't initiate until lift off. Can you see it? Nope, you're not showing up at all. All right, maybe I don't have RID turned on. Advanced safety options. Just air sense and emergency propeller stop. So that's where's, not that's not it, right? Where's remote ID? Between drone tag beacon and blue mark, is it? Blue mark. Beacon. Beacon. Uh, <laughs> looks like for now, as far as picking up the operator, Blue Mark wins. Blue Mark won. Yeah. But uh, there are many reasons why Drone Tag wins. Tell them why, Keith. This is what you get with drone, Blue Mark's Drone Beacon. <laughs> A box. Yeah. Nothing else. Yeah. And this is what you get with the Drone Tag. It's got a little magnetic opening thing on once. It's it's really cool. Look at that nice it, yeah. box. They, they even <laughs> include a little uh, towelette for you to, to install it with the, its own Velcro. Uh, it comes with an app, most importantly. It has an app. So if you want to comply with Remote ID, and we know that you do, we recommend one of these buggers. You can use one unit on all of your aircraft. Whereas this unit is for a singular aircraft. You don't get to change them out unless you want to re-enter your data every time. So remember, boys and girls, always drone safely. Don't do anything crazy when you're flying, and remember, comply with all FAA regulations. Oh my goodness. This is weird. Oh my God, this is weird. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Until next time, because I hope not to knock down my camera, hit myself in the head, Bye. And bye. <laughs> oh my God. Where are you going? <laughs> I don't know. You're going straight up. <laughs> and if you ever lose your blue mark beacon, you can put your drone tag beacon right on there and never lose it again. Fits they perfectly. Fit together like Tetris and shaped like an L for some reason. What the L is this about? Really dizzy. Uh, hey, can you unwind me? Can you do the other way? Oh. Oh, now that's no good. Oh, that's no good. Oh, that is really messing me up. Oh, that is so wacky. Oh. Wow. Wow, that was... What'd you think of that? They wacky, they isn't it? They their merry-go-round back. Funny, right? Adults are funny.